Hi everybody, I'm Shane. Today we're going to be running our new heavy duty angle broom. This angle broom is equipped with our optional reversing valve block, which comes with the hydraulic angling built right in. We also have the uh, full poly wafer set up front. The main three differences between this broom and our standard broom are that we have toolless parking stands. We have a massive two inch bearing on the non-drive end. And we also have an oscillation joint in the middle. And that's really important if you're gonna be doing a lot of sweeping on uneven terrain where the broom is on a different angle than the skid steer. So that really allows the, the angle broom to oscillate right and left based on the, the angle that it, or the angle of the ground that it's uh, resting on at the time. We're gonna be sweeping on uh, a couple streets nearby and also on this concrete pad. Uh, this broom is equipped with the reversible valve blocks so that we can sweep both moving forward or reverse. That's an option. That comes with the hydraulic angling built in. We're also equipped with uh, poly wafers, uh, 32 inch wafers across the entire width. This is a 96 inch broom and we've, we're going to be running it on a Bobcat T770. Uh, but we're just going to run it on low flow because it doesn't require a lot of extra hydraulic horsepower. So let's give it a try. off the pad here. I just wanted to show a little bit about the apron angle here. I have the bobcat sitting up on top of the pad and the angle broom is sitting on the apron. And you can see there's a slight difference between the two and this oscillation joint allows the broom then to make or maintain complete contact with the apron so you don't get any skips here like you would if you had just a rigid broom. Uh, you'd have to either apply too much down pressure or you drive over the, the crest and you'd miss a spot. So this oscillation joint is really beneficial if you're sweeping transitions between two different angles on the, of the ground. Okay, so I wanted to show you the advantages of having a broom that has a flexible mounting plate on it. Uh, we use a torsion spring system which has built-in dampening and what that allows you to do is when when you drive over humps like this one near this drain the skid steer is going to be jostled but the broom will stay in contact with the ground so you won't have any skips or at least it will reduce the amount of skipping that really saves a lot of time because you don't have to go back and go over stuff twice one last difference i did want to discuss between the heavy duty angle broom and our standard broom uh, we have a little different design here with the brackets that hold the motor and the bearing to the frame. Uh, we've incorporated handles into these brackets that when it comes time to change the wafers, it's a lot easier to do. You can simply remove these four bolts and pull it out the front side. So it makes it a little bit easier to handle uh, when you're doing wafer changes. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the videos that we did here today with the heavy duty angle broom. Uh, check back later. We'll be doing videos with other attachments coming up.